Hi, this is Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts back. Happy New Year, 2016. I was reading a comment that one of my viewers had sent me. And I want to deal with being strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Uh, sometimes when we go through a lot of things in the churches and in our families and in our personal lives, sometimes it seems like we can't quite find our footing, our place in this world that God has placed us in or in the circle that we're in right now. But what I want to tell you is God has a place for you. And this young lady inspired this talk. And when I prayed, this is the scripture the Lord gave me to read. Now, when I get through reading this, we're going to have Pat Love's Two Cents. So stay tuned for the commentary because I have some stuff to say about this that might help some of you that are struggling with the exact same thing. And the reason I know this works is because I struggle with the same types of things. And I want to let you know, God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you can ask or think according to the power that works within us. So listen, here we go. I'm going to read, starting, this is Ephesians chapter 6, starting at verse 10. It's just going to be a few verses. And I'll let you know when we stop which one <laughs> we're ending with. But I have to read until God tells me to stop. I don't think it's going to be a lot. So please bear with me. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. When you think people are against you, baby, it's not people. Let's get past that. Moving right along. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, stand. Stand, therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Listen, I'm stopping there. We don't realize how much the enemy comes against us, especially when he recognizes a calling on your life. Now, the one thing that I'm going to tell you, I don't know if you've ever read woo, woo, I don't know if you've ever read the story of Joseph. But when Joseph was betrayed by his brothers and they threw him in a pit and sold him into slavery and then told his father he was he was dead. Listen. We don't realize what God, what the devil means for bad. And, and Joseph told his brothers this. What the devil means for bad, God means for good. So when you have something that's going on in your life that makes you feel unsettled, that makes you feel like I'm just not fitting in, I'm, I just can't quite find my circle, people don't respect me, people don't think much of me. Yeah, I know, been there, done that, bought the t-shirt and, and sent it back. But listen, it hurts. We all know that hurts, especially from when it comes from the body of Christ 
or even your leadership in the body of Christ. That's even worse. However, we are all damaged goods, including the leaderships of the church, of the churches. Remember that. And what Satan will do is send his little poop butts, you know, little demons and imps, to manipulate human beings to tear down others. And the reason he's trying to tear down some human beings the way he does it on a continual basis, it seems like, is because he recognizes there is something that God has done with that person. He recognized value in the spirit. He recognizes a, a level of anointing, and that is a threat to, to his agenda. Do you understand me? So what he's trying to do, that's we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, da, da, da. We're dealing with an enemy in the spirit realm that is using people of God even to tear us down, to to kill our resolve, to make us want to throw in the towel on God as people, the whole kit and caboodle. He wants us to give up. He wants us to, to walk away and just say, oh, just forget it. I'm tired of this crap. And that's what he wants to do. The whole aim, according to Old Testament scripture, is to wear out the saints. He wants to wear you down, beat you down, wear you out, tire you, get you so disgusted with the whole nine yards that you just say, whatever. And you give up the ghost on your walk with the Lord. Now, that's why you have to put on the whole armor. We're not talking of physical armor. We're talking, if you read this, you really get what it's talking about. We're talking about all of the elements we need to deal with. We need to have our heads screwed on right. We have to have our heart in the right place. Be honest, be truthful, real and genuine. We have to pursue peace. Do you hear what I'm saying? We have to live in righteousness. We have to totally gird ourselves up. In the word of God, I mean, and, and our faith, we steadily have to go to God to renew our faith and, and believe and pray up and do everything we need to do because the enemy is constantly coming. And if we're not girded up with the armor of God, some of those jabs can really knock the wind out of our sails. And before we know it, we don't want to go to church anymore. We don't want to talk to some of those people anymore. And we stop forgiving and we start resenting. Then we start criticizing. Then there springs up a root of bitterness. Oh boy, the devil's getting all excited then. Because he's pushed your buttons. And you let him. The only way to fight back is to do everything according to the way God told you. Forgive when you're, when you're offended. Have mercy when it happens again and again and again. Love when you feel like you're being treated with contempt. Be patient when it seems like they don't get you. You have to do... You know, it seems like it's unfair because the attack is on you. And it really does feel unfair. But what God is doing is while the attack is on you and the people are being manipulated, God is steadily adding to you from the inner man. That's why you're being strengthened in the Lord in the power of his might because you're appropriating his might because you're doing it all and handling it all his way. And he strengthens you and he girds you up on the inner man. And he's healing your heart while he's doing it. And cleansing your soul, your spirit, your mind from all that nonsense and all that debris and contaminant from the other people who are attacking you. Even some that don't even know they're hurting you. 
Do you understand what I'm saying? Think about it now. This is not time to give up. This is the time to press in. This is the time to press, baby. You got to press. Because God has a calling on your life. Many are called, but few are chosen. You must pursue the position of being one of those few that are chosen. And it hurts. And I'm going to tell you, yes, it hurts. But let me tell you this. God is mightier than the hurt that you're feeling. Because all you have to do is open your mouth and ask God to take all the hurt out. As soon as somebody jabs you, Lord, take the hurt out. As soon as someone offends you, God, take the hurt out. I'm angry. Take the anger out. I want to tell them all, keep my mouth shut. Help me, Father, right now. And walk away in the power of God's might. And I'm telling you, when you obey till it hurts, and I'm telling you the truth, God will smile on you and you'll feel that smile and it'll be worth it. It'll be worth how you have to obey and feel like sometimes you, you may look like you're eating crow because you're not fighting back. And it looks like they're always getting the upper hand. I'm telling you, they're not. You are. Because you are becoming equipped and strengthened for the assignment God has for you in the kingdom. Just know that God is doing something in your life. Don't give up now. Push. The baby's about to get born. Your ministry's on its way. But there's a whole lot more preparation period sometimes than there is ministry time. God knows where we are, are broken. He knows where we're weak. He knows where we're fallible. He knows all, of, all the ins and outs. And he knows what it takes for us to be able to handle the assignment that he has planned for us. You cannot carry a bag or a, a, a heavy load with a broken arm. So you have to be healed before you can carry a load. And then you need some rehab. And that's what God is doing. He's strengthening you, baby. Oh, he's strengthening you for the battle. Boy, when he gets through hooking you up, folks are going to lean back and say, Whoa, I don't believe it. While they're still in the same place they were 10, 15, 20, 30 years ago. And you have grown in leaps and bounds because of God's favor and his strengthening you. Mm. God bless you. Cooperate now with him and the Holy Spirit. Cooperate. When you want to cuss, bless. <laughs> Ooh, I'm telling you, baby. God has something for you. And that's why you're being attacked the way you are. But guess what? What you need to do right now is push into God. Press in. You know how them little bratty kids get around their parents? Parents trying to talk on the phone or watch TV. <coughs> Excuse me. And every time you look around, they're jumping on there. Look, Daddy. Look, Mommy. They're, they're, they're just totally fighting for their parents' attention. 24-7 on uninterrupted attention. I mean, they got to have that undivided attention or they're going to make it happen. Well, guess what? That's the way you need to pursue God. I'm telling you, because the more you pursue God, God, the more you will recognize, he will open your eyes to what's really going on and how you are growing and being developed for his purposes. Then, It'll start getting exciting. God bless you as you learn his ways and his plan for your life. Mm, exciting.